Okay, I wasn't even going to talk about this today, but as I was going downtown trying to find a place to shoot my videos for next week, I, I couldn't get out of my head. It's vlogging narcissistic. People like Casey Neistat, 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 uh, Peter McKinnon, PewDiePie, are all the, the big YouTubers narcissistic? I can't help but think, do people think I'm narcissistic when it comes to vlogging? I'm gonna tell you, I've been watching Cody, Cody Warner, the Warner, Wainer, Warner, sorry Cody, and one of the videos was you don't, when you do vlogging downtown, you don't want to walk in circles. And I feel like I'm walking in circles. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate my style uh, in wanting to make it more interesting as I talk about mental health and what that means. Oh great, it's starting to rain. I can't believe it. Every time I want to get outside and do some vlogging, it rains or it threatens rain. So I might get, I might get a little wet. Whoa! Do you think vlogging is narcissistic? I don't think it is. I think, for me anyway, I don't. I can't speak for Casey. I can't speak for Peter or PewDiePie or all the other bigger vloggers. But for me, vlogging is not narcissistic. I'm not in it for me. It's not selfish gain. I, I'm doing what I'm doing with my channel for you. And so I wrestle with that thought. Same with selfies. Are they narcissistic? Are the people that do that... Oh wow, the helicopter's pretty close. <laughs> but do people who take vlogs, who are vloggers, or selfies uh, on Instagram or wherever, I, I, there might be some that are narcissistic, but I can only speak for me uh, that I do it because this is a, uh, a platform video for me to make a connection with you so you can listen to what I have to say about mental health. Some people think vlogging is narcissistic, but I do not think so. I think it's a way of communicating, a way of connecting. And I, I, I really think that's exactly what vlogging is. It's connecting with you and you connecting with the vlogger through your likes and comments and subscribing. Uh, so it's a, a, a form of connection that vlogging does. So do I think that Casey Neistat or Peter McKinnon or PewDiePie or all the other vloggers are narcissistic? No, I don't. I think they're amazing human beings that they're, they're creating something that's amazing and a lot of people connect with them and that's what video does. It's not about being narcissistic, it's about the connection. And that's what I, I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make that connection with you. I'm trying to reach new people uh, and the best way that I know how is through video. No idea what that hum is in the background. I tell you, last week it was filming downtown, a loud truck went by, so many lessons. That's the one thing you don't think of when you want to go downtown is all the street noise and the hums and the loud cars and trucks. That's a part of it, right? That's a part of it. Oh, look at this. This is kind of cool. First time I've been here. Oh, what is that? That's all I have to say about that, but I couldn't help but think about it. And I wanted, you know, when I think about something, I want to talk about it right away. Uh, so let me know, what, what are your thoughts? Do you think vlogging is narcissistic? Do you think people who do that are so self-absorbed they can't get enough of themselves? I would like to know. I would love to know, actually. But uh, right now I gotta go. Thanks for coming along, for watching. I appreciate you. And you know I want you to take care of yourself and do everything that you can to work on you.